welcome you guys back to a brand new video! And ladies and gentlemen, my god, tonight has just been a stacked night, has it not? I mean, we uploaded a video to our main channel, which is pretty damn crazy. We're not gonna spoil it for you. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Links and all that stuff will be in the description box down below if you guys haven't yet subbed to my main channel. Then please do exactly that. But see, here's the thing, is that we're not talking about contents on my main channel, brothers and sisters. No, 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 no. As you guys can see right here, plan day, clear and simple, we have tier shifts for January of 2019. I always love doing these kind of videos, man, because because yeah. this is where the shenanigans really, really start to take place, y'all. Okay, so, what it is we got going on here, it seems to me that we actually have ourselves two sections here. We got the rises, and we got the drops. Yeah. Let's get into the rises first. So, ladies and gentlemen, rising up from the depths of RU to UU, we got Chestnut, we got Mega Steelix, we got Gliger, and we got Dublade. What are your thoughts on that, bro? It's nice to see uh, Chasma and Mega Phoenix rise because I like both of them. Absolutely, like the, the, they they deserve yeah, so much I, respect. I love all of them. Yeah, they de all deserve so much respect as really solid competitive Pokemon, and it, it just so happens, funny enough, that all four of these Pokemon are meant to be defensive behemoths. Yeah, and the last two <laughs> have, um, are good with video like Oh and hell like yeah! Now here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, is that what we have up next, we have ourselves, well, I mean, it's not really a shift, per se, um, because from UUBL, so from the ban list of the UU tier, to OU, we have Mega Diancy. Now, here's the thing, is that, I mean, Mega Diancy was already banned in UU, so, I mean, it was only inevitable that the only way that it could be used would be an OU and above kind of thing, right? Yeah. But... Actually, Bruce actually made a really good point earlier today. Shout out to my coworker Bruce. He is awesome. He's a cool cat. The thing is, right, is that he actually kind of put something in perspective that makes a lot of sense, right? Is that th it's not so much the fact that they decided to uh, to uh, put Pokemon in the ban list, you know, just uh, for the sake of, you know, just because. Um, it's because of the fact, right, that we have Pokemon that are too good for one tier, but not exactly good in another tier. So it kind of it kind of boggled my mind at first why Mega Diancy was even in, in the UUBL to begin with. But the thing is that, you know, it, it's a good OU Pokemon, right? So, I mean, it deserves a spot in OU. I mean, the thing is, it's got base 110 speed, if memory serves, plus it's, it's got 160 in the attack and special attack and as magic well. magic bounce. And magic bounce, too? Well, I mean, Mega Diancy is not exactly a Pokemon to sleep on, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, coming up next, from NU to RU, we've got Uxie. Now Uxie is kind of like, um, you know, it's kind of like, it's a, it's a bit, it's a tank-ish kind of Pokemon. It's got a lot of utility to it. Um, I actually didn't see this coming whatsoever, but it's a pretty, pretty interesting Pokemon to say the least. Now, coming up next, we have ourselves from PUBL to NU, we've got Magmortar. Now this Pokemon right here is a fiery Pokemon with a lot of bad attitude. You best not piss it off, otherwise it's gonna stomp you to the ground and roast you into charcoal and eat you up. Do you have anything to say about that? Um, I think, yeah, I think that's all. Yep. Uh, and last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to the increases, when it comes to the rises, we have Togedemaru and Weezing rising up from PU to NU. How was Weezing in PU in the first place? I don't know. I mean, the thing is that Weezing is a really defensive poison Pokemon. It has it a very wide move. Yeah, Toxic Spikes. Uh, it's got uh, Willow Whip, Thunderbolt. But it's got a really good special Fire base Black. attack, you know? Like, it's got yeah. a really good special base move pool, right? Um, and it could just explode in your face when it's all done, you know what I'm saying, with explosion. And I mean, even with the attack minusing nature, that's still gonna leave a dent in you, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, Weezing being now in NU, that is actually really interesting. Now, we get, we get to the good stuff here. Oh. We get to the very good stuff, because... Actually, hang on a second here. We we got the drops going on here. Normally, you, normally you wouldn't think that drops would be a good thing. But see, okay, here's the thing: is that I shouldn't I should rephrase that. Not so much good, interesting. Okay, yeah. because what we got going on here from OU to UUBL, we have Koopa Unbound dropping. Now, here's the thing: this is actually the part that stumped me here, and this would 
you know, Bruce and I kind of had a conversation earlier today. Um, I, I think from Smogon's eyes, the reason why they put uh, Hoopa Unbound in the UUBL deliberately was to showcase that it's too good for UU, but it's no, not exactly the not. best in OU. Which, yeah. by the way, I, I respectfully reject that claim that it's not good enough to be an OU. Because oh, Hoopa That's Unbound! Hoopa That's Unbound weird. is actually, like, it's got such a good move pool. Yeah. And it's got really good stats, but of course its defense and speed are kind of lacking and all that stuff it needs. It can be stars, though. Yeah, it can be. Great. And not to mention, it's got a move pool much deeper than the Atlantic Ocean, my friends. It is, it just, it's just really, really solid. It can run specs, it can run band, it can run scarf, it can run mix, uh, it can run setup, it can run, it just can run a whole bunch of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Now, from, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh. oh, this right here, man, from OU, to pee you. We got what? freaking Gastrodon! What happened? What the hell happened here? Like, seriously. Like, isn't this like the fourth or fifth time that this po- Like, okay, no, I'm thinking about Quagsire here. Yeah. But the thing is, Gastrodon's kind of getting the Quagsire treatment. And Amoongus, too. If you remember, I believe it was like- It was Amoongus. It's shifting between tiers. They keep like... shifting between, like, three or four tiers, which is redonkulous. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Like, why- why the sudden drop? To PU, you know, like it's just—it's just gonna be. It's Make just, your mind. It's just gonna end up getting, you know, super, super used up in PU. It's gonna be to the point where they decide to raise it on up to OU again. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, and they will drop it back down to PU again. That's just—it's just really, really wishy-washy. Like not like the Pokemon, but like you know, that's you—you you, you can't decide left or right. It's now. Here for the pun. I will knee choke you for the pun, man. Okay. Or not for the pun, but for threatening to knee choke me, man. Ah, get, I'm botching my lines. Well, we're, we didn't even really come scripted or prepared for this. This is actually kind of on the spot. Now, here's the thing. From you, you to are you, you, this damn near made me poop my pants. Metagross going from you, you to are you? Are you kidding me? And no, are you kidding me? Like, th like literally, are you kidding me? Not, not the tier. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? What the hell? Metagross is in are you? Holy shit! That is actually crazy, dude. That is actually absolutely insane. It is. What the hell? You gotta be kid, dude. Like, okay. Yeah, good defenses. Yeah, the thing, the thing's got stats that you know that a lot of Pokemon would die for. It's got a move pool that's actually pretty freaking good. It's got you know utility, you know stealth rock, agility, agility, uh, agility things like that. Like, it can, it can run a whole bunch of stuff. Like, I do you see this Pokemon lasting that long in RU? No. <laughs> Probably to be not. Honest, no. Now. Here's the kicker. Up next, we got Stack Attack going from UU to RU as well. What the hell is going on? This is crazy, this dude. This thing is dangerous with the right setup. Not to mention with Trip Room also, man. That thing's gonna sweep your candy ass if you ain't prepared. And Darmanitan. Do, do I even? Do I even? Do I even need to say anything else? Quick hit spot! Trying really hard not to drop the F bomb here, but freaking Darmanitan! Dude! The it, thing it is so. Your fault too, right? Okay. Here's the thing. Sheer Force boosted. Life Orb. Possibly boosted by Life Orb and or Choice Band. Flare Blitz. Oh. Nothing, nothing survives that unless you're like. Freaking Alamomoa or Flash Fire or some shiznickle like that. Not to mention, you know, even though, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of moves to make use of when it comes to Sheer Force and all that stuff. Sheer Force Flare Blitz, man! That is what you need to win battles! And even though it's a one-dimensional Pokemon, it's a Pokemon that's very much feared in in the metagames that, it, that it's in. And now that it's an RU? Oh. Are you crazy for dropping that shit? What the Are hell? RU is finished. RU is done, man. RU is absolutely done. Now, here's the thing, is that we then get on to Mega Slowbro, dropping from UU to RUBL. Not quite RU, but RUBL. So, getting the Hoopa Unbound treatment, meaning that it's too good for RU, but not exactly the best in UU, which, 
I also respectfully disagree with, because it's all about how you use the Pokemon. If you know how to use a slow bro like an actual bro, okay? Like an actual broski, woo woo woo, you know it. The thing is, that Mega Slowbro is a Pokemon that refuses to die. Yeah. Because the thing is, uh, Shell Armor. Shell Armor blocks critical hits. You got Slack Off. You got uh, Calm Sl Mind. Sl Calm Mind. You got Skull. You got Fire Blast. You got Thunder Wave. You got Ice Beam. You got Toxic. You just got a whole bunch of shenanigans that goes along with it. Now, speaking of shenanigans, is Enu ready for another Mega Pokemon? In Mega freaking Glalie, one with crazy uh, offensive coverage and yeah. refrigerate, refrigerate boom, refrigerate explosion. Ah, that's absolutely refrigerate crazy. Refrigerate return. Yeah, not to mention you know it can run mixed as well because here's the thing. How I love to run my Mega Glalies. There's actually a couple ways I like to run it. I like to run either all out offensive with uh, the likes of return with explosion, with ice, ice shard, and freeze uh, dry. Wait. Freeze dry, okay? Yeah. You want to have freeze dry so that you can target, okay? You can target water those water type Pokemon that try and switch in on your candy. And I also love running the spikes variant with a mixed attacking set as well. And you can also run earthquake as well if you're that afraid of steel types as well as like rock types and fire types Friends? and all that uh, stuff. Heat trend is not in that. Tier. Heat trend's not in, in lower tiers, yeah. man. It never sees the light of lower tiers. It's OU for a now, last but not least, guys, we have Minior this is dropping from NU to PU. Have you, have you gone up against a Minior in, like, random battles? The, the thing has Shell Smash! The thing is crazy, dude! The thing is just absolutely nuts. Did you just Shell Smash it, ability? Yeah, oh, was it it's, it uh, shields down, which yeah. basically, ladies and gentlemen, what this does is not only does it shield you from, you know, it gives you an immunity to uh, to, stat to statuses, so I'm getting tongue tied again because I'm just like, what the hell's going on here? But also, when its shields go down, its stats end up swapping around, so essentially it becomes a defensive Pokemon to an offensive Pokemon. And by the time that happens, it... Already. It already it, it's already shell smashed yeah. once, maybe even twice, depending on if the Pokemon if the you know, the opponents end up switching. And with uh with a uh, what herb? Right? White herb, and white herb, acrobatic, acrobatic, stone edge, earthquake, and it can run special and mixed offenses too. You know, power, power gem, gem, uh, psychic, dazzling gleam, uh, things like that. Like that's just oh my god, dude, thank you. <laughs> Day. You want to talk about bringing in the new year? They brought it in, and it is just it just not stopping. I mean, the first big thing in 2019, they banned Zygarde 50%, which I still think is absolutely ridiculous. Don't feel that. But now we end up shifting to some crazy news that is like, what the hell? We didn't even see this coming, man. We didn't even see this coming, y'all. This is just absolutely crazy. So the other thing you gotta say about this? <laughs> I think the last deal really shocked me. Especially the last three or the last four. Well in this case it'd be the last six, because you got Metagross, you got yeah. Second Hacka and Darmantan all dropping are you. Uh Mega Slowbro didn't really drop per se, it's just it's you know in an R U handlet. I don't know man. I guess people just really don't dig the bros these days, man. That's just so sad. And Mega Glalie, <laughs> Mega freaking Glalie, dude. That thing's gonna annihilate NU. I I have a feeling it's gonna end up in NU EL. Probably, probably, man. And last but not least, guys, we got Minior and PU. Uh -huh. That's just that's just that's gonna shell that's gonna be smash. a shell smashing nightmare. So yep. <laughs> With that being said, guys, I don't know what y'all think about all this, but you know, definitely plug your thoughts down below. And that is going to be it for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching, please be sure to smash a like on it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling very ambitious. How many likes do you think we should go for for this video? Uh, 15? Let's go for 15 likes, baby! Let's try to get to 15 likes! I know we can do this, man, because we're the Crash community, we're the Mega Crash Army, we're the League of Knees, and we can do anything, baby! So thanks for watching, and we will see you next upload!